Welcome everyone. So today in class we're gonna move super slow and we're gonna be a lot of time in silence. So before we start, let's settle in. So close your eyes, take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Deep breath in again. And deep breath out. So now notice where are you right now with your thoughts. Quite often what we can find is that we're in the past or in the present or we might even feel like I'm not doing this right, it must be something wrong. But if you're that state then it's already good because you notice all the noise you have in your head. And within classes, we try to get the noise in your head a little bit quieter, maybe even stillness. And when sometimes you feel like your mind is racing from one place to another and it's super hard to stay put, then just think about it that you can't only breathe in, so you can try. You just can't, like at some point, like you just <laughs> the, uh, the body is full, so you have to breathe out. So the in class also helps us to settle in, settle the quietness and settle yeah, the stillness in your mind. So this class, we're going to move again from pose to pose. And your job there is just to observe the breath and just to notice it because especially in nowadays world when we're jumping from one thing to another so easily uh, then think about it that the past is already gone it's such a cliche I know <laughs> but the future hasn't come yet but all you have is here and now so you have to make the present as good as possible that the future would be better or whatever you're aiming for so think about it and when you feel like you can't be in one place by the way I'm gonna keep on talking we're gonna do some joint mobilization at the same time just to get the body a little bit warm uh, that think about it that when your body starts and your mind starts racing from one place to another then focus on one thing first, try to find stillness in the body, just move your body a little bit uh, at the same time. Uh, when you get your body to stillness, then maybe at some point you get the mind to stillness as well. Obviously we can't build the mind, well we can kind of do brain scans and things like that, but when you feel like your mind is racing again from one place to another, then just turn on the home button. Like if you ever ever fly in a drone or you can imagine it as well, there's the screen which is return to home. And then uh, the breath is your home. So just focus on the breath, breath again and come to the present and try not to be in the future, in the past, but even if you are, don't judge it. It's okay, it's part of the whole process and you just have to get there by time or maybe you're already there <laughs> anyways without further ado let's go to our first in pose and from now on we're gonna move with music and when you heal music by music I mean nature sounds <laughs> and when you hear a soft bell then you know it's time to move and expose and also make sure that underneath the description there's all the details about yin yoga poses and how to do them correctly, so make sure you sign up for the email list. But now let's just breathe and let's come to the baby pose and stay in silence for the next few minutes.
Now just go to your final relaxation pose and relax your body from head to toe. Try not to move or make your final movements now and calm the body and then soon the mind will follow. So now listen to the furthest sound you can hear. Maybe it's the birds from this video. Maybe it's people, noises. Maybe a baby is crying. Maybe there's a police siren. Whatever it is, just listen to it. Now try to find the next noise you can hear. Maybe it's the wind. Maybe it's something else. And now the closest noise you can hear. Maybe it's a car. Maybe it's another bird. Maybe it's electricity. Maybe it's even a helicopter. Whatever it is, just notice it. Don't judge it. Now try to listen to those noises at the same time. Sometimes <coughs> you just need to isolate different noises. Maybe it's me coughing. But the same thing goes to our everyday life. So when sometimes triggers me, when something triggers you or me, then we just notice it first, we don't react on it. We're not gonna put the emotions on top of it. We just notice it from bird eye view. And then we can make better decisions as well. Now take this few minutes and notice different sounds around you. Whatever it is, just notice it.
now slowly come back to your breath again, move your fingers and toes. And whenever you're ready, turn on your right side. And then slowly come on up on a sitting position. Take a deep breath in and out. Maybe you made a few grocery lists in your mind. Maybe you finished all your to-do tasks or your to-do list. But as long as we notice these things, it's always good for us to come to these kind of practices. And over time, maybe our mind comes more still as well, because then groundbreaking answers will come to you, whatever you're searching for. And when you're ready, open your eyes. See you next time.